Hi guys, I'm going to share a new book with you. It is called Nuffle Bunny 2, and I have a special guest who's going to read it for you. Her name is Georgina Hawks. Say hi. Hi. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her dad. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and I'll show Meg, and... Then I'll show Margaret, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Tashi, and then I'll show Katie, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then and talk and talk. Trixie was excited because she was talking her one of a kind. I mean, she was taking her one of a kind knuckle bunny someplace very special. Come on. You see, she's taking her dad to school. Oh. She's going up the stairs, taking him up to her room. Trixie couldn't wait to show Knuckle Bunny to Miss Greengrove and all of her friends in PK. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sawdust. I'm going to show her face. So this is Trix. Oh, wait. Trixie's over here. Way over here. And she sees Sonia. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind knuckle bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Come, knuckle! Knuckle! Come, knuckle! Knuckle! The afternoon was worse. Oh, man. They are not getting along. When the school bell rang, Miss Greengrove returned the knuckle bunny. And the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, brushed her teeth, And tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from planet Earth. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. Trixie marched into her mommy, mommy and daddy's room and said, That is not my butt. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. He asked, Can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. <laughs> Before he even made it down the stairs, bring the phone rang. 
We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arran arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. <laughs> Trixie did not want to be late. Neither did Sonia. There was an escape. There was an ex. There was an exchange, and the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belong. I was so worried about my bunny," said so so said Sonia. "So was I," Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back at the exact same time. <laughs> and that is how Trixie found her first best friend. Knuffle, I mean, Knuffle Bunny accepted, of course. The end. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The new best friends had a lot of catching up to do. Do you want to play with my Nuffle Bunny? Sure, do you want to play with mine? And that is the end. Say bye, Georgie. Bye.